The FBI has a warning tonight, and it's largely aimed at young people. Think before you post. Yeah, police agencies at the federal, state, and local level are spending lots of time and money chasing down phony online threats. And as Steve Brown reports, it's a crime that could cost you. After the school tragedies come the flood of hoaxes. School after school chasing down a posted threat with police called in. We look into it, we're going to deal with it appropriately. And the vast majority are hoaxes. There were no bombs, there was no guns, no, not a rifle. Um, I think I saw on Facebook somebody had posted uh, something about a grenade. Uh, all that is uh, false. And you have to treat everyone like it's real. We treat every single threat like it's real. Buffalo FBI spokesperson Maureen Dempsey tells Two on Your Side that every time there is an event, like a school shooting, hoax threats by text, social media post, email, other, jump 400% in Western New York. Most often, it's teens and young adults. Who may maybe want to have a day off of school or, you know, experience, you know, a couple hour break or just seek revenge on the school district if they have a beef with it or maybe gain notoriety. A quick review of our archives found over a dozen school-centered false threats going back to January of last year. Just this week, at a suburban Rochester middle school, an 11-year-old was charged with making a false bomb threat. To deal with the problem of these hoaxes nationally, this week the FBI rolled out a national awareness campaign. Hashtag think before you post. Featured as a 30-second ad with a Chicago college student who three years ago falsely threatened mass violence on campus. I got arrested by the FBI, and now I don't know what my future looks like. Because posting a threat, real or phony, is a federal felony. There's a statute that says whoever transmits a communication to injure through interstate or foreign commerce will be or shall be uh, fined under the statute or imprisoned, and that imprisonment can be up to five years. And the FBI points to a trio of young men, the youngest just 18 years old, who've all been sentenced to federal prison time for hoax threats, the longest stretch over three years. The phony threats also inject chaos and anxiety into the lives of students and parents, and for police agencies rushing to these false alarms, it means all else on their plate waits. But those other violations that we're responsible for, bank robberies, um, terrorism, civil rights investigations, not to say they're not important, but they're not immediate. Which means important cases sit while agents chase down fake threats. And while we in the news game hear a lot about these bogus threats, Dempsey says we do not collect information on all of them here in the news media. And we often do not hear about the punishments because it involves minors in many cases and names are not released. Also, punishments are not public information. So again, serious stuff, a lot more common than we think. You have three teenage sons. Give us some insight. Do these kids really think that they can get away with it? I really don't understand why anyone, including a teenager, would think that they could. The FBI has a robust cyber capability. They monitor the internet and social media platforms for crimes just like these threats. And making a false threat and getting caught is really going to make it difficult for that person if they're applying for a college loan that's federally backed if they're looking at federal employment, if they're looking at a job somewhere down the line, or just applying to college. All of those applications generally ask, have you been convicted of a crime? A yes check means it's a lot more difficult for a lot of folks. And saying you didn't know it was a big deal is not a defense they accept. No, it is not. It is not. We are told that punishments are meted out through the family court system uh, very often. Um, and these folks, there are consequences for this stuff. Yeah. We don't always hear about it. But there are consequences for this. Yeah, it's important. Parents really stress it. Great story. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. Welcome.